I've been calling Jeff frequently to check on Ronnie. <clears throat> and when he called me back and asked that I, he left a message and said, could I call him, I knew I was in trouble. So if the preacher ever calls you, you better have caller ID. <clears throat> Randall, those are great words, buddy. Appreciated that. It doesn't matter how much you prepare for a five or a ten minute talk when you get up here, because when you get up here, you forget everything you said or wrote down or tried to prepare. That's why I marvel at Jeff's ability to preach the word. I would love to be able to do that, but it takes a lot of time. That's one of the things I want to talk to you about. Did you pray today? Did you take the time to stop and talk to God? I'm guilty of not doing that a lot of times. I'm guilty of not reading these words. Why do we pray? It's just a game of chance. You think God's up there really looking down on us, cares about what we do? We're a fool if we don't. We ought to pray not because God just tells us to, because we want to. According to the dictionary, prayer is an earnest request or a petition made to God. A lot of times our prayers are, give me, give me, give me. And we need to think about, thank you, thank you, thank you. The first, uh, I, I found the earliest scripture I could find about prayer was in Genesis 24, 45. And it's basically when Isaac was at the well praying for a woman. Now that in itself seems like an odd prayer to me, but uh, be that as it may, it happened. <clears throat> but David, we all know him as probably the greatest of the kings. And even though despite the troubles and, and the trials and the sins that he had in his life, he recognized the need for prayer. In Psalm 32, blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven. Whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not count against him. And whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all the day long. For day and night your hand was heavy. Upon me my strength was sat as in the heat of summer. When I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity, I said I will confess my transgression to the Lord and you forgive the guilt of my sin. Let everyone who is godly pray to you while you may be found. As good as David was, in Matthew we have Christ talking to his disciples and he gave them a, a parable about the fig tree. And it says early in the morning as he was on his way back to a city, he was hungry and seeing a fig, fig tree by the road, he went up to it but found nothing on it except leaves. And then he said to it, may you never bear fruit again. Immediately the tree withered and when the disciples saw this, they were amazed. How did the fig tree wither so quickly, they asked. And Jesus said, I tell you the truth, if you have faith and do not doubt, not only can you do what, you, what was done to this fig tree, but you can say to the mountain, go throw yourself into the sea, and it will be done. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. You know, it's easy to sell prayer short. I don't, you know, I don't know that, I don't know the powers that God grants us through prayer as opposed to the disciples. But I think, at least in my life, I need to have more faith. I need to believe more. I need to know that God is good to his word and will answer my prayers. Maybe not the way I want it to be, but he will answer the prayer. In Philippians chapter 4, starting in verse 4, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. 
I say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord will hear. I'm sorry, the Lord is near. Do not be anxious for anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. <clears throat> and then finally, in James chapter 5, verses 13 through 16, is any one of you in trouble? He should pray. Is any one happy? Let him sing songs of praise. Is any one of you sick? He should call on the elders of the church to pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise him up. If he has sinned, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Did you pray today? <clears throat>